it's been a very long time since I've done this so if I do it even a little bit I can already feel the effects of it I was just going around discovering some trees the mandarin from one of the trees I am turning it so that it doesn't get burnt guys I'm tired and it's night there's no light here we're using flashlights there is no network it's dark What's up guys welcome and welcome back if you are new here you are most welcome go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you are notified when we post future videos and for those of you that have already been here welcome back lindeko i am so glad you're still here so in today's video i am going to take you guys to my farm yes that's right your girl bought a farm one of these days i will tell you guys the long story about this farm but for now what you need to know is that sometime last year we decided to buy a farm and and when I was going to Congo, I made it my point to spend some time at the farm. And I decided to take you guys with me, of course. So that's what we're doing. But before we go, guys, let me know how refreshing is Kikwit, though. We are still in Kikwit right now. But how refreshing is this place? so i am finally we're, we're going to the farm before that i think we're going to buy a few things at the market and then we'll start going i'm excited bonjour mama yeah so we're going to grab a few things at the market and then we will start going to the farm it's awesome it's my first time to go there so it's gonna be great come with us so after buying a few things at the market guys we were on our way to the farm we traveled on a bike and we were going basically in trails so there, there are no roads there so at some points we actually had to get off the bike and walk because the bike couldn't take us all the way through but as hard as it kind of was it was also very refreshing because i mean let me just take a moment to appreciate these views the views were giving the air was so fresh the skies were clear and clean the whole place was green and i just remember being like <sighs> because it was that refreshing a bit a steep place so pardon. Uh, it's a steep place so it would be hard for the motorcycle to come up with two people so we had to get out and uh walk up congo as you can see is such a beautiful place like literally an actual paradise like everywhere that you see you just see beauty man congo is so beautiful man just a bit of political will and we can arrange this this country one eternity later so so we have arrived and my phone died so i had to resort to our good old camera so we have arrived at the farm um this is a fish pond it has some fish there are other fish ponds but not all of them have fish but i'll show you guys around the farm just so i'm not just talking <laughs> Thank you. 
Non, je l'avais. 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 The lighting is so bad. There are some people that actually live in this farm, and uh, the particular one that are related to us, they're not here. They've gone to Kikrit to sell some stuff. So now we have to wait for them, and I am going to accompany the kids to the river, not the river, but to the water streams because they're going to fetch water for us to cook. So I just thought it's a good idea if I, if I go with them so that they can show me around and also show me some fish ponds yeah my job and a bit in our life you're not all you must say in tama so they said it's not too far away going with them so i see things around it's been a while since i fetched water so i'm going to see if i can help them also carry it down and i hope that you guys can hear me as i talk <laughs> The good thing about living off grade is um, it's just it's very quiet here. The only noise that you hear is like maybe birds and insects and things like that, but nobody is bothering you here. You're basically just living your life. I haven't been in an area like this in such a long time, and so it's amazing, it's surreal. Like this has been a dream, and actually being in this moment, I don't take it for granted. I think the water is nearby because I'm hearing it already. So let me show you guys our way down. Oh, I see it already. One fish pond. Mm. Mm. That's sugar canes. Lumba Lumba. Ndua Lumba Lumba in the chicha and waving a yankee. But better to learn a dongo dongo. That is banana tree. Ah, passion fruit. Maracuja is maracuja is what we call them here. Papaya tree. Masang and what? Ah, this is um corn trees, like corn corn trees, yeah, corns. If you know corns, these are these are where they come from. So they grow really tall and they start producing corns. I was just going around discovering some trees. They were showing me around the farm and different trees i got to see avocado trees uh, corn trees i got to see colonna trees um uh what else guava guava trees papayas it was good and people don't have a problem with us filming them so that's another good thing as well so yeah this is how you cook over here i'm not cooking this don't worry, but I am turning it so that it doesn't get burnt. Because the person that is doing us the favor of cooking it has gone to look for flour so that we can make the food. We completely forgot to bring flour here, so this is what we're doing. But the other one, I think it is cooked already. So it really needs to be taken out of there. Okay, uh, I just finished eating. So now we are climbing a bit of a mountain because the house that we're going to sleep at tonight is a bit up the mountain. Yeah, so that's where we're going. Okay, bye. Good morning guys, I'm at the farm as you guys know. The environment at the farm is as fresh as you would imagine it to be. So much greens around. Yesterday at night the skies were so clean, like so many stars. If I could catch that in my camera, I literally opened my camera hoping that I would catch some but I couldn't. <laughs>
it's funny because there are other things that you know only the eyes can see and these cameras are not good enough to capture it but it was so so pretty and um another thing that i'm really enjoying here is like the quiet that the environment offers you know the only thing that you will hear are like at night especially are like crickets like literally crickets as i'm still hearing them now those are the only things that you will hear around it, but it's it's extremely quiet and then in the morning you will hear the roosters going off you know it's really the nature like life of nature for those of you who are into living off grid these are the kind of environments that i guess you would dig this is a mandarin from one of the trees just behind it just fell and it's one of them was sweet so i'm gonna eat this one mandarin fresh from the tree it's not sweet. The plan of the day is to go back to Kikwit, but before that, we're going to catch some fish at the fish pond because my family feels like it's a good idea that while I'm here, I eat my first fish of the farm. So that's what we're going to do. But I've eaten a few things here already. I've eaten a mandarin and I also ate like fufu, which was made with cassava that I believe were from the farm. <laughs> <laughs> um so that's the plan for today hopefully i will take you guys with me i don't have so much charge on my phone right now so i'm really and and there's no way to, to to charge here so far so i'm really being very careful <laughs> on how i use the charge so hopefully i can get to show you guys everything that we get up um i will get up to before we go back to kikrit and um i hope you enjoy this video give it a thumbs up subscribe so that you see more of these like it's looking blurry on the on the camera but Honestly, in real life, it's it's a dream. I don't know what this little house is about. There's so many little houses. Okay. So there's that little house down there that we're sleeping in. And then there are other little houses that I don't know. Um what their goals are hopefully somebody will show me around and explain a bit more on what we are seeing here but let me not go too far because i actually do not know the farm um i'm gonna go and see the people that are doing that are working in the fields down there and hopefully i'll show you guys around as well i'll, I'll do it along the way and there's a little girl that is coming here <laughs> came, she came to tell me that my mom is asking for water she's so cute yeah, yeah, boy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's so cute. So I'm going to try to follow the people that are working at the farm. I'm at the fields and see what they're up to. So yeah. There's no definite way that one is supposed to go. But you make your way. That's the farm life, I guess. These are uh, cassava leaves. We eat them. Some people only eat the cassava, which grow like underneath. But we eat cassava leaves. So we eat cassava leaves and the cassavas as well. So let me see if I can capture the people at the field. Hopefully I don't distract them. Oh yeah, but look at the view though, eh? Look at the view. If you come if you come at the field you can eat um raw cassavas. 
it's really nice so i'm gonna try and eat it it's not dirty just because it's looking like muddy doesn't mean it's dirty it's nice it's just coming under the ground so it's sweet it's nice yeah there nobody died <laughs> much 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 later me to start heading down just bringing some stuff down where the guys are opening the fish pond it's not some stuff it's just the stuff that we came with hopefully I can make it over there I don't know if I should put it on the head but to do that I have to stop filming so that I can get there quickly and then show you guys what they're doing okay so I have finally put it on my head now it's gonna be easier to bring it down because like trying to pull it with my hands is a bit hard Especially because we're going over a relatively steep um, trail so I thought putting it on my head would be easier than just um, pulling it yeah so that's what's up guys I have to stop filming because it's kind of heavy so that I can focus I don't bump into something and and then fall my back kind of hurts <laughs> it's been a very long time since I've done this so if I do it even a little bit I can already feel the effects of it so yeah let's go so I just came to see the state of the fish pond but it seems like uh, water is not finishing yet and if the water doesn't finish it means we we cannot catch the fish at the time that we plan to catch it which means I mean which means we will most likely close off the fish pond again before we go to to Kikwit. either that or we leave the people that opened the water for us to catch the fish and then they can follow us with it um, so eating the fish today seems a bit like a reluctant mission but we'll see how it goes <laughs> I'm just sitting here just so I see what they're doing and where it's up to I was eating um, boiled sweet potato, I finished, we decided to wait, so uh, we're going to see the people that are catching some fish, so it turns out I'm going to eat some bucket today. This, so the session of catching the fish is done, now we're doing some washing, and to wash, I will show you guys what's happening. So they take it from there, they come here, they put in that a cleaner water and then they're gonna get it they're gonna start getting them out and leaving the small ones in so that they can reproduce again it's really cool really just for some background guys me eating the fish was actually improvised because i came at the wrong time the fish was still very young normally these fish they grow very very big but because i came at the wrong time my family just thought it doesn't matter they can catch me some fish for me to taste it before i traveled back so that is the story here in case you're wondering why are the fish looking so young they're still babies pretty much 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 later so the fish saga has finished now it was time to go home but there is no motorcycle to take us home so we're basically walking now as far as we can go and then see if we can find um a motorcycle to take us home motorcycles we're passing through but we weren't ready yet so now we're just going hopefully we can meet one along the way but that is basically the end of today's video i'll just focus on the way because honestly i'm tired i haven't really had a proper meal since morning so focus just on the way and get home and take a good shower and eat something because yeah i'm exhausted i hope you enjoyed guys and subscribe i will see you guys when I see you guys.
next time. <laughs>